Now let us see how to find x and y intercepts for a given line. So let me take a few examples. Let's say the line R is given to us as, uh, let's say, let me just write an equation here, uh, starting with minus 2, 3 as a point, plus t times, let us say, 3, 4, right? Let's say that's the equation of a line. We want to find x-intercepts and y-intercepts. So if I say x-intercept, it means what? x-intercept means y equals to 0. Is it okay? Best is to write this in the parametric form. So I could write x as equal to minus 2 plus 3t. And I could write y as equal to 3 plus 4t. Now, in this equation, if I make y as 0, that means I substitute 0 here, right? 0 here. So if I substitute 0 here, I could find the value of t, 3 plus 4t, or minus 3 equals to 4t, or t equals to minus 3 over 4. Now, this value of t can be substituted for x, and we can find the x-intercept. So we could say x is equals to minus 2 plus 3 times this value, which is minus 3 over 4. So what we get here is minus 2 minus 9 over 4. So we could take a common denominator of 4, minus 8 minus 9, and uh, that gives you minus 17 over 4. And therefore, the, the x-intercept for the given equation will be will be minus 17 for 0. Do you see that? Now, you could also find the y-intercept. To find y-intercept, what will you do? You'll make x equals to 0. Is that okay? Very simple. So, making x equals to 0 means writing 0 here. So, you could write 0 equals to minus 2 plus 3t. Rearrange, 2 equals to 3t. So, 2 over 3 equals to t. Once you get this, you can find y. So you say y equals to 3 plus 4 times 2 over 3, right? 2 over 3, which is equals to 3 plus 12 over 3, or 9 plus 12 over 3, and that is equal to 21 over, over 3, uh, which is 7. So the y-intercept for you is 0, 7. You get an idea, right? So that is how you can find x and y intercepts when the equation is given in vector form. Convert it to parametric form and do it. The other example could be, I could give you a Cartesian equation, right? Let us say the Cartesian equation is uh, 2x plus 3y plus uh, 6 equals to 0. Simple. So here, finding x and y intercepts is very simple. Just equate x equals to 0. You get my, you rearrange this, write this as 2x plus 3y equals to minus 6. So the x-intercept will be, if you equate y is 0, it will be minus 6 divided by 2 as minus 3. And the y-intercept should be, I mean, I wrote it the other way, I'm sorry. If I write x equals to 0, then we get y equals to minus 6 divided by 3, which is minus 2. So, so the y-intercept will be 0 minus 2. However, the x-intercept will be after equate y as 0. So I get 2x equals to minus 6, x equals to minus 3. So the intercepts are, let me write down here, when x is 0, y is minus 2. So we get 0 minus 2. And then if y is 0, x is minus 3. So minus 3, 0. This is your x-intercept, and that is your y-intercept, correct? So when you are given Cartesian form, it's kind of simple. So you could also see this like here. We'll rearrange this, divide by minus 6. So that is the intercept form form of equation learned earlier, right? 
If I divide by minus 6, what do I get? I get x over minus 3 plus y over minus 2 equals to 1. So these are your x and y intercepts. Do you see that? So you could actually find x and y intercepts in different ways. Now let us have a few examples on finding x and y intercepts and their application. Question number one. The parametric equations of a line are given as x equals to minus 10 minus 2t and y equals to 8 plus t, where t belongs to real numbers. This line crosses x-axis at A and y-axis at B. If O represents the origin, determine the area of the triangle AOB. So we are given parameter equation x equals to minus 10 minus 2t, y equals to 8 plus t, where t belongs to real numbers. To find x and y intercept, what can we do? To find x intercept, we'll write y as equals to 0 and calculate t, right? <clears throat> so to find x intercept, we'll write y equals to 0. So if I write 0 here, I get 8 plus t, and that gives me the value of t as minus 8. So I can substitute minus 8 for x and find the x intercept. So x is equals to minus 10 minus 2 times minus 8, which is minus 10 plus 16, that is 6, right? And therefore, the x-intercept is at 6. You could write the coordinate as 6, 0. Now, to find y-intercept, what are you going to do? Well, to find y-intercept, we'll substitute x equals to 0, find t, correct? So if I substitute x equals to 0 and find t, what do I get? So y intercept, let me do it here, or, okay, we can do here also. Fine. So in this equation, x equals to minus 10 minus 2t, I'm going to substitute x equals to 0, find t, right? Minus 10 minus 2t, or 2t equals to minus 10, that gives me t as equals to minus 10 by 2, which is minus 5. So to find y-intercept, I'll substitute t equals to 5, rather minus 5, in this equation, right? So if I substitute t equals to minus 5, what do I get for y? I get y equals to 8 minus 5, which is 3. So the y-intercept is 0, 3, correct? We have x intercept as 6, y intercept as 3. So let me now sketch the triangle just to show you and then we'll find the area. So both are positive. So let me just sketch here. Uh, 6 and 3. So let's say this line represents the given line where the y intercept is 3 and the x intercept is 6. This is the point O origin. We are saying x axis at A, so this point is A, this point is B. So what is the area of this triangle? Well, area of the triangle AOB will be half of base, which is 6, times height, which is 3, correct? And that gives me 9 units square. Perfect. So that becomes the area of the triangle. So we use the simple formula, half base into height, right? So, so the base is 6 and height of this triangle, AOB, which is this one here, is 9 units square, correct? So that is how you can find the area and do such questions. I hope you find it interesting. Now here is another good example on using x and y intercepts. Question number two. Cartesian equation of a line is given as 3x plus 4y minus 24 equals to 0. Explain how the intercepts can be used to find vector equation of this line. So it's a very interesting way of writing vector equation. 
uh, let me show you how we can do it. So the given equation is 3x plus 4y. I'll take 24 to the right side and write this as 24, correct? Now let's find x and y intercept, right? So x intercept basically means y equals to 0. So as soon as I substitute y equals to 0, I get 3x plus 0 equals to 24. x equals to 24 over 3 which is 8 right so we have x intercept of 8 let's find what is y intercept y intercept means x equals to 0 right so if i write 0 here for x i get 0 plus 4y equals to 24 or y equals to 24 over 4 which is 6. so what we get here is x and y intercepts let me sketch this line also here both are positive so just saving space uh, x so it's like slanting like this let me write down y intercept as 6 x intercept as 8 right so that's the line we're talking about explain how the intercepts can be used to find vector equation that is the equation for us correct now how do you find the vector equation we need two things we need a point you could use any of these points so let me use the point p which is 0 6 the y intercept now we need the direction direction m right so what is the direction now this point basically is 0 6 and that is 8 0 so the direction is is change in x which is 8 minus 6 right so which is let me write here 8 minus 0 and change in y which is 0 minus 6 right 0 minus 6 that gives me the direction 8 minus 6 it is a good practice to take a common factor so we'll take 2 which is the common factor write this as 4 minus 3 correct so so the direction basically is 4 minus 3 right okay so the vector equation of this line could be written as any point we are using the y intercept which is 0 6 plus t times the direction which is 4 minus 3 right so that is how you can get the vector equation i hope you know the alternate ways alternate ways are from the cartesian equation we actually get the normal right so we get the normal here which is 3 and 4 so the direction vector should be flip it four and change one of the signs do you see that so we get the same equation do you understand that if you're given a cartesian equation there's an alternate method you can find the intercepts and then the equation of the line i hope that helps feel free to share your comments views post questions and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best